This is something to get you 4K watch time and make your content perform way better by introducing this one strategy I bet you've never heard of. This strategy is known as secondary storylines and I'm gonna show you two creators who do this so well that it should be borderline illegal. Then I'll make sure you're equipped with this tool so you can apply it in your content. Drop on me here. Before we jump into that, what are secondary storylines? By definition, a subplot is a secondary plot line in your story. To write a good subplot, you should support and enhance the main story arc, adding depth and complexity. Subplots are an effective tool for adding more conflict, characterization, and tension to your story. To make it more simple for you, you're creating more interest and curiosity for the viewer because you're now adding stakes within your video. Let's take a look at the first example from Ryan Trahan. In his video, I Metal Detected 100 Miles of Beach, he used this exact strategy without you even knowing, and this is exactly how he did it. 44 seconds into the video, we are introduced to this. On mile three, I found something crazy that has the potential to change my life forever. Gosh, oh, the heck? What is that, a Nokia? Unless cavemen had phones, it's more of a metal brick. It's probably nothing. But if it's gold though? <laughs> At roughly six pounds, here's the value of this metal brick based on what it possibly is. Yeah, that's quite the range. We will find out what it is. I'm taking all of my stuff to a pawn shop at the end of this video. It's gotta be worth something. Did you notice what happened? Ryan found a metal item at mile three. It weighed six pounds and we don't know what it is. It could be gold, it could be steel, it could be iron. Who knows? It's a mystery that you want to find out. He also added another storyline that's right under your nose. He talked about how at the end of the video, he's going to take everything he collected to a pawn shop to see its value. What could he possibly find? What could it all be worth? Does he finish the 100 miles? These are all questions you have that you are asking. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever watched your favorite TV show like Succession, my personal favorite, The Kardashians, The Bachelor, and you go to sit down to watch one episode, but you end up watching 10 because you just have to find out what happens to Kim's aunt who has a conflict with the husband and you just have to figure that out. TV shows do this effortlessly. They consistently and constantly create secondary storylines to keep you hooked and addicted. This is where the term binge watching a show comes in. It's because there's multiple storylines going on with many different characters within the show. There's all these questions that you have and the only way that you can get them answered is to watch. These shows do it effortlessly and it's all done by design. Now, everything that Ryan Trahan did is amazing, but nothing is going to compare to what Leon Hendricks did that is gonna blow your mind. Leon Hendricks made a video titled, How to Master Anything Fast. Within his video, he gave six different points he wanted you to take home. Each of those points was a secondary storyline. At 10 minutes, 28 seconds of his video, he used this one word that completely changed everything in his video. I believe there's one thing that makes all the other ones obsolete. Did you notice what he did? He used the word obsolete. He made everything he talked about, all five of those points seem so insignificant because this last point, this sixth point, was the one you needed to listen to. He made it the most important part of the video. And it's no surprise, when we look on the timeline, that was the most replayed part of the video. It was clear that all six points were super important, but this sixth point, this final point, this last one, was the one you needed to pay attention to. And not just once but over and over again. This leads us to the final question. What about you? How can you apply this strategy into your content to get that watch time, to keep people watching, to keep people curious and make your content perform exponentially better? That my friend is a phenomenal question. Let's say for example, you're a fitness creator and let's say you wanna make a video titled, I drank one gallon of water every day for 30 days. By the way, I think you should steal that. Instead of just drinking one gallon of water every day for 30 days, you can create more stakes in it. You can review different types of water, maybe bottled versus glass, and talk about if that hydrates you better. You can talk about alkaline water or non-alkaline water. You can talk about tap water, distilled water, or spring water. You can bring an expert on seven days into your challenge to speak to you about hydration and the best ways to be hydrated. Maybe you're faced with a challenge where one day you're not able to drink all your water and you have to chug 32 ounces at night. That could be another storyline. You can have a check-in every five days with a doctor or another expert or a coach to see where you're at. Give the audience more than just you drinking a gallon of water. Give them the best ways to stay hydrated. Dispel some myths with your expert to understand what is the best way to be hydrated. There's multiple ways to create secondary storylines and create more interest and intrigue in your video. Use this to your advantage and I promise you, not only will you get the 4K watch hours, create better content, create more interesting content, you'll become a better creator and a better storyteller overall. By the way, I published a video where I followed Mr. Beast's advice for small creators and it worked. If you want to watch that video, click over here. You do not want to miss it.